going well. How are you? I got Wong over here, yeah. I, I did a bit of pre-work with him already. I, he's just kind of like touching up needed. Uh, but I... Ah, yeah. That's... Yeah, because the two should just have a little bit of contrast paint, probably, right? For those two. Well, you could always make some. Attempt to. So... One of the things, like Human Torch being one of them, um, contrast paint and most of those paints have a very, I don't want to say quick drying time, but just like regular acrylic paints, the drying time isn't um, slow, um, which is why oil paints, most people like to blend with oil paints and stuff like that. Um, the speed paints the original speed paints from Army Painter had the same problem, is that they didn't dry very fast. So it gives you awesome blending opportunities. They've since fixed that problem. If it's a problem. But, uh, most people complained about it, though, because they didn't work the same way contrast paints worked. So... You, I mean, you have a lot of people that are, oh, well, this is how they're supposed to work, because these came out first, right? So. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Oh my god, did this go everywhere? It did. I had too much water in my wet palette, and my green went everywhere. And now I'm dripping other paints. Great. This is a great start to the evening. Oh yeah, you guys win? Very nice. Did you have to fight him? Oh, I'm sorry for him. Even with, uh, like, the misery um, wheel or whatever it was? Oh... Oh, interesting. Curses aren't easy to get rid of in that game either. 
I mean, correct. That's what I was just about to say. You can you can go to buy them, but like that's turns taken to go to that location, and then you have to spend the money to do that. Or yeah. oh, well, that's good. It was Alex God of Arkham. Oh. Jesus. Wow. Good for him. Played Promo Cthulhu. What's different about him? Oh, wow. That's good. I mean, or I guess not since it's uh, for the card game, right? Uh, yes, you've told me about this. I guess it's a good thing that you got cursed artifacts. Who's the monster jar? Oh. 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 I feel that every game I've played with Jared, when he's the monster jar, it's not good.
Oh, interesting. Okay. That's funny. The milk brings all the monsters to the yard. That's up. That's funny. I'm glad it went well. I was just about to ask, how much did you get for charity? Taffy have to do. I was tempted, but I didn't have the time to jump in and offer up some something and be like, well, this is for Greg to have a secret goal and actually give Greg some sort of like secret goal that he had to accomplish. Otherwise, he lost. Um, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, so, uh, everyone was a traitor? No, everyone else. Why, was he actively working against everyone? No. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Dead of winter. Crazy game. I can hear you. Um, well, uh, Zach is having audio difficulties right now. Um, so I will be your new host. I think he's saying something along the lines that he is um, forever giving me the hosting privileges of his channel now. I don't know, something like that. Um, so how is everyone today? Well, you are a producer, Chamali, so that does work. <laughs> so here we are, 17 minutes into the stream. I've just been painting things gray without being able to be heard. Are you heard now? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm here. I'm hurt now. I forgot to unmute the mic. <laughs> oh, whoops. I thought you I could. No, you know, I didn't that. forget. I just. It, it, it. The button doesn't always work on my iPad. Sure. Well, that's not but good. But we're here now. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. But here, people watching on YouTube, I'm, I apologize for 17 minutes of Jamali awkwardly talking about awkward uh, Arkham Horror to himself. And, like, it's a half of a conversation, too. So that's kind of... You were mostly talking. I know. <laughs> you were just, like, so asking me kind questions. Of... How wrecked am yeah. I after last night's adventure? Um, not really that badly wrecked. I, I will make note, like, we were done before bedtime. <laughs> like, it was... Alex didn't leave until after bedtime because he's a baboon. Um, but we got to talking about, you know, some... My voice is wrecked. Because that's a lot of talking. But no, it was it was a good night. We had we had a good time. RPD, thank you for being there. Greg, thank you as as always for, for playing. And Brudy's a quitter. Brudy quit? No, he he just had to go to bed. Oh. It was two or three turns before the end of the game. Oh. Which always That's sucks, but time. like, I mean, work comes first. Life happens. Yeah, That's why Kirkman had to duck out. Kirkman was supposed to play uh, before we had, before we got Daryl. Um, we wanted one of the creators of Fade of the Elder Gods to play with us. Which I have just picked up recently. Such a good game. I love that game so much. Such a good game. Um, unfortunately, I waited too long to pick it up, and now I am out in expansion. Oh, you don't have the expansion? No, the Beast from Beyond. Well, uh, and apparently that was we have one at free. Oh, do you? Yeah, if it's still there, I'll grab it for you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, that and... Uh, that's basically it. Um... Dare Brody think work is more important than us. <laughs> than fun. Greg, uh, actually, Kirkman, uh, I, I was supposed to announce this on last night's stream, but uh, Kirkman has positive motion in, in with regard to a Fate re reprint slash new expansion. Oh, yeah. a new expansion, you say? Agents of Arkham. I've played it. It's awesome. This is the uh, fifth player. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, Greg and Chamali have both, I mean, the three of us work on the official TTS mod for it. Um, like, we, that is that is our baby. Um, we've Which seen I re some of the files of it. What? I was just say, which I re-uploaded because Greg's a baboon. Yeah, everybody. or Greg's Greg a Bonzi buddy. buddy. Oh, hey, look, I have that gif. Um, yeah, Greg is a Bonzi buddy and screwed up the upload. Uh, something to do with making changes after the... But something to do with casting spells after the end of the world and giving us, giving, giving us all heart attacks. He's Not saving attack. properly. Yeah. That was... What happened? I'm quiet. Is there anything? This dark. Oh, Jesus. What is that? I mean, I can try that. I don't want to mess with the game on my mic. Maybe that's. I hope that's. Why is it? Jesus. 
stupid microphone. I'm gonna have to sit here and yell into it. That's gonna hurt my ears. Yeah. Perfecto. So let me tell you guys about a little podcast I've been listening to. I don't know if it's a podcast or an audio drama, but it's called Marvel's Wastelanders. What, pray tell, is that? It is. A Marvel Wastelanders is an end-of-the-world Marvel audio drama type of thing. Uh, the first, it's five, uh, five separate um, segments of ten episodes each. The first segment f- follows Star Lord, which I was like, eh, but whatever. Um, it's kind of important. Um, and basically, Star War. Uh, basically, the concept is that Earth, um, all of the villains of Earth, um, led by Doom, Zemo, Red Skull. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Um, took over and killed all of the heroes. Like strip, kill them. Like just, just whacked them all together. Just murder, murder, yeah. murder, stab one eight seven. They're all still yep. having to be way too loud. This is ridiculous. So try that. Um, no, no, I'm gonna. You find eventually you find out there's actually that? a couple heroes that are still alive, but um, basically, uh, Star Lord and Rocket are the only two heroes and they go back to earth to do a task and run into this basically wrecked earth Uh and it's just a drama of end of the world stuff um right on it's rpd is that any better like i messed with a couple of settings i turned tamale down a little bit If not, I'll take the whole system offline for a second and test it. Like, my mic isn't where it should be. I don't think. Because Broody's not here. He should be here. Keep, keep talking, Jamali. That was a mic joke. So it's pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> mic joke. Because they're mics. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, the it's a, it's not a bad. There's 50 episodes in total. It's completely done. Um, I'm on the last series right now. Nice. Uh, and uh, it follows. I mean, it's not just like the Guardians. The next, uh, the second series follows. Uh, what is it, Hawkeye? Oh yeah, I think I saw like a trailer or something for that. Yeah, he old man Hawkeye, um, and he's at a carnival, um, the Brotherhood's carnival, basically is what it's called, or something along those lines. So uh, it's. Interesting. If you have free time or free driving time or whatever, that's why I would recommend. But each episode is like twenty minutes long, so it's not super long. Uh, I'm quite sure that the music is down as far as it can go, while still being audible. And then I'm also listening to a couple new books. Uh, I'm not crazy about them. I don't know if I'm going to go into the recommendation at this point. Um, Sure. But they're not bad. Uh, Speaking of books, have you heard of Weirdwood books? Yes. Are they good? I don't know. I have not read them. 
but I've okay. heard I don't know if I'd heard of them. The yes, answer is definitively yes, I have. There, uh, apparently there's a game, and the game was actually... I didn't know that there were books. Oh, I played okay. the game because it's on Kickstarter right now, and a buddy of mine was like, oh, let's try this game out. And I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. I'm always up for trying to game. Yeah. Um, and the game wasn't half bad. Okay. Uh, it was... I, I, I get the feeling from the art of the game that the books are more like young adult or teen young younger oriented um the game seemed a little more complicated than that mm -hmm. than that age group but um it was good Game it always fun. makes me wonder like what developers are thinking when they when they make a game that's very clearly not appropriate for the age group of the tar of the source material yeah i don't i don't know um, I just thought it was a little more complex than maybe it needed to be. Sure. Um, but I liked, but if it wasn't that complex, um, it would have been no fun at all. Like, right, right, that's right. That's what the game good in my eyes. I have no idea how to do this, but so maybe just keep it the way it is. What do you, what do you, uh, what? So I was, I originally painted this, uh, the base, the brown wood here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a brown. Now, I did the golden symbol yep. as he's summoning the gold. But then if I try to uh, make it like a glow effect, I have no idea how to affect it. I tried light putting like a, a a glaze of yellow down, but that just looked bad. Yeah, I'm thinking it, it I doesn't glaze work. Brown, like a light brown. The way I've always traditionally done glow effects, I, I I'm not super fond of. Um, I need to find a better way. But like when I did Scarlet Witch, I did basically a a a, a, a tr almost messy trail of a much much lighter color running through the middle in a pretty fine detail like situation and basically ah. like just water it down water down the same color more and more as you get further toward like toward the outside yeah that was the the i thought the process was just to like glaze it down on yeah. the sides there but i don't love the the way it comes out but All right, I need to find. Uh oh. I need to find like a <laughs> a picture of Mole Man. Mole Man. With his big funky glasses. And the moloids. And do you have Mole Man printed? No, but he's coming. Like I have his miniature. I have the file. Ah. I just want like I'm I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. This is Mole Man in the morning. Good Mole Man to you. Let's see if I can do this. Let's try doing... That sounds like a Colin Mockery line. Wow. Good night and good news. Well, I guess this should be fine. No, I, I know it's a Simpsons quote, but I'm just saying it sounds like a Colin Mockery thing.
So now I gotta decide what to do with like the rest of this base. <laughs> oh, frick. Oh? Like. So there's this part here that exists outside of this rock she's standing on. Okay. Oh, I see, yeah. And I... I don't know that I want to do anything with it, I'll be honest. Uh, then don't. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Maybe I'll come up with something to do with it later. But in the meantime... No. No one I haven't had a chance to do in a while. Play video games. Dude, the only games that I've had time to play right now are Chrono Trigger on stream and, like, a little bit of Metroid Prime that I'm just getting increasingly frustrated with because they made just very poor decisions with it. About to say, don't you think, uh, I thought I read somewhere that you were going to plan on quitting it, maybe? Uh, taking a break. Anyway, that's fair. Yeah, I just, like, so this, I, I, I've complained about this on stream a bunch, but so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but... Um, the infrared headpiece, or, like, visor, is basically impossible to see out of. Okay. That's stupid. Yeah, they put this giant reticle in the middle of it that, like, you're already hindered, and now you're going to obscure half the screen that I can see? Don't know if I got to the infrared part. It's in, like, the second time you go to the... Well, I guess... Oh, anyway. It's in the ice area. Okay, I've been there. Have you got the double jump? Yes. And have you gone into the Space Pirate, like, research core? Yes. So it's at the bottom of the research core. Okay, so I probably just got it, and that's when I stopped playing. Yeah. Because then it makes you backtrack out without being able to see anything. <laughs> yes. Yes! But you can pick up, like, different things. It's not really yeah. infrared. It, like, sees different things. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's like a like a heat spectrum map thing. Yes, okay. And you have to run up the giant shaft and avoid the Metroids because you just can't see them well enough to hit them. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's monumentally stupid and irritating. Like, I know I can do it, too. I've gotten really close a number of times, but I'm just like, I'm, it's it's always so late. Like, I only have these little, like, 20 to 40 minute windows to, to game during the week. Like, off stream. Yes, if that. Yeah. So, to try and bash my head. It's, it's basically playing Dark Souls. I, I, I think I'm beyond my Dark Souls career at this point. No more Elden Ring for you? At least for a while. Like, I love Elden Ring. It's awesome. But I just don't have time to play it. Agreed. Alright, so I'm thinking, like, for her base ring, a really, really, really pale... Hello, Remote Error. Uh, really, really, really pale blue. Oh, yeah, you do base ring. Yeah. Um, I would do almost like very like that's a white right now on the yeah. screen yeah so in my eyes it's slightly tinted blue on my screen i guess so that's what i'm do. exactly that okay so really 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 light white so or really 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 light blue almost like an ice blue like this oh, like iceman blue almost so this is what i use for but, iceman uh, or actually no that's yeah, not true I used a contrast paint for Iceman. I would, yeah, 
put water, uh, maybe not water down, but yes, something like that. I'm going to try this blue horror and we'll see what you think. It's barely blue. It's basically just white. Yes, that's that's exactly what I think it should okay. be. And it's a layer paint too, so it'll be um, particularly faint. Convenient. Oh, I also put what? So is that what layer paints are? I never understood what the different paints were. Yeah, like. layer paints are uh, semi-transparent. Like base base colors for the Citadel system are completely opaque, but that's not true because you water them down and they become not. Uh, and then um, layers are slightly less opaque. Okay. But I don't necessarily use them that way. Because, like, two coats of a layer is the same as one coat of a base, you know? Yes. And with or things like were... whites and yellows, like, you still need two coats of a base color, so who cares? Use the one that makes sense. Oh yeah, this is this is absolutely perfect. Oh, you know what? Let's turn my light on. Now I can see what I'm doing. We remember how to stream. I would turn my light on, but that's a big fan too, so you don't want to hear that. Oh, this is my light in my camera. You have light in your camera? Yep. Do I have light in my camera? I don't think so. I don't... I, you bought the IPvo, but not the same model that Broody and I have. Well, that's fresh. Or Adam and I, rather. Rudy went with the cheap one. Mine wasn't cheap. No, I know. Mine was their top model because the school bought it for me. Well, that's fair. Yeah. It was during remote learning. I was like, look, I need a, a document camera. I am floundering without it. And there were, <laughs> two days later, there was a document camera on my doorstep. They're like, okay. Well, during remote learning, specialists were told, okay, we don't really care what you do, just keep the kids entertained. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, bet, I can do that. They, I, I, I did genuinely ask if I could just stream um, uh, A Link to the Past. <laughs> And they said no. They said no. <laughs> they said no, you, you may not just go live on your Twitch channel and get paid for it. I was like, well, what's the difference? You're getting paid twice then. Yeah, well... I get paid twice for Gen Con and they don't care. Uh, you're not act is it actively during your... Oh, I guess, yeah, you go It's PD. The... PD base. No, I, the way I finagle Gen Con is um, basically they know I'm pulling a paycheck from Greater Than Games, so um, they'll the school will pay for my flight. Well, that's nice of them. Yeah. They they love the fact that they don't have to pay for my Gen Con ticket. I made a very compelling argument about. Maybe five years ago, about why Gen Con is valid PD for me. And it is. I mean, it's. There's genuinely a day that is exclusively dedicated to using board games in the classroom. It's the Wednesday before the con. Um, and I was like, look, most of the PD that is available to me is either hot garbage, or I already know it, or. I'm going to learn it better by just, like, someone sending me a piece of software and saying go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm not gonna lie, this looks fantastic. Far and away the easiest model I've ever painted ever. I just did the base and did the base ring and called it good. Maybe put some details in instead of being completely clear, just so there's a couple, like a faint outline maybe. So, okay, all right. So like the, the deepest recesses hit it with like a little bit of that blue, uh, like a watered down blue contrast. Either the deepest recesses or the highlights. One of the two, either or. Probably the highlights, because I think the deep recesses might be... A okay, no, I, I can see it. Hang on. Yeah, no, I, I literally do the same thing that, that I did on the base ring. Just like the top, the highest points hit with a tiny bit of... Of that same color, that base ring. Mm-hmm. If you're not going to be allowed to do that, then don't tell them about last night's stream. What, oh, the fact that my students showed up? They all know my Twitch channel. They're they're allowed to watch. I don't care. That's why we keep it family friendly. I'll be right back. Hold on. Get me fine. Well, that doesn't. That money doesn't go to me, though. RPD. Like even my staff know, knew that I was actually two people who donated. Uh, it was, I don't know more than two, four people who donated, uh, like actual cash donations, um, were staff members. They know I stream. It's not. It's not a secret. And get money for it. Okay, I have returned. That's not a yeah, bad glow. Yeah, this is a good effect. call. What are your thoughts on that glow? Ish. I think that's solid. Oh, that's remote error, don't even worry about it. It was great. We had a great time. We raised some $300 or so. Yeah, Chamali, that was a good call. Just a little detail? Just a little bit of detail. It's, I, I don't even know if it's going to be an, even enough to show up on... I should, I don't know, it's gonna handle. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you... It's, I don't even think it's going to be enough to show up on stream, but it, like, it's, I'm just, I'm just like basically edge highlighting nothing. Yes, exactly. I think that's how you want to do her. In... I, I don't think this is a good idea, but if you edge highlight the her whole outline, it could look like a comic book. But the problem with that is that you're going to have always that one, you have to look at it straight on or whatever angle that. Yeah, you yeah, want. yeah, exactly. And I don't think that's. I'm not always the hugest fan of that. I, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that. I think that's a perspective painting? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh. Oh. Long is taking me longer than I thought he would. Just call him That's long, cool. long. No, probably don't do that. Oh, that's. Have you ever done an escape room? I love escape rooms. They're like my favorite thing. Mine too. I love it. Uh, we're considering going back to one uh, for my buddy's birthday in a couple months. Nice. Haven't been to one since before COVID. For oh, sure. Obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah, I haven't either. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, RPD, I'm, I'm just getting to that now.
Um, no, the last time I did an escape room uh, was for my bachelor party, uh, which was a ton of fun. Uh, although, I mean, you know Alex. Alex is very, like, pseudo-methodical about sort of thing, things like that, where my buddy Joff is exactly not that. He's like Captain Brute Force. Uh, That's funny. And my friend Corey is like James May. He, <laughs> if, if left to his own devices, Corey would probably sp spend the entire hour naming his spanner. Um, Corey and I have been friends since first grade, I think. Um, so here's Corey, you know, naming his spanner. Alex, like, pick, putting it... <laughs> Actually, I should be more specific on what Alex does or does not do. Alex, like, he'll key in on some inane detail and think it's the most important thing in the world. Whether or not it has any part to do with the puzzle at all. Right. Um, okay. So, at one point, Alex had collected, like, 97 things, all of which we had moved on from at that point. Uh, and we got down to the last lock, which was a combination lock, and Joff goes, you know what? F it! And starts trying every combination. <laughs> which, he did succeed, he finally did succeed. Um, and we got out with like, I don't know, 37 seconds to spare or something like that. As the door opened, Corey comes in the other room, uh, having named, finally named his spanner. And, uh, he goes, hey guys, I found this, this, uh, answer key to this thing. And J Joff goes, Corey, why couldn't you have had that like 10 seconds ago? Because <laughs> it was exactly the combination we needed. That's funny. Now, it is also worth noting, uh, that... We were very hungover, like extremely hungover, <laughs> except for Alex, who was 100% bone sober uh, because uh, somehow or another he had to, he forgot that we were having a bachelor party and he went to work, even though he had already requested the day off and nobody bothered to tell him that he was not supposed to be there. <laughs> because... Say it with me, everyone. Alex is a baboon. Baboon. <laughs> All right, I think I think Sue is now done. I'm gonna zoom uh, into the camera here a little I bit because I can't tell, but I trust your judgment. Here you go. Try that. Yeah, I still. Oh wait, maybe. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I think that's perfect. Yeah. I Just a couple of little highlights here and there. So difficult to see, but yep. yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty much. I mean it definition of invisible girl right that's all right now johnny is going to be a two-part process here i'm actually just painting his base tonight i'm going to glue him down and then and then get the contrast paints that i need that's good because i don't that's good have them at the moment so we're just we're just painting a base here and then we'll move on to general ram that is exactly as you should see remote error Unless... Oh, RPD, player. I can do way better than that in terms of baboon status. Alex, in a feat of baboonness, somehow... So, Sammy and I... Sammy, Sammy's dad is an airplane pilot. Um, and we, we often, when we're flying to conventions, we'll check with Sammy's dad first to see if he can just fly us there. Uh, if he's if he's got a flight going, then he can just put in for and, and, and do that thing. Unfortunately, uh, JetBlue does not fly to Indianapolis. So in this one instance, uh, Sammy's dad hooked us up with, uh, I think, Delta was our flight. Um, and Johnny's a great guy. Um, so Sammy and I were like, okay, well, we have to be at the airport with some semblance of like earliness and um 
Alex was like, no, we don't. We'll get, we'll get there and we'll, we'll get on the flight and it'll be fine. So just to make sure Alex was there on time, we were like, okay, well, we're going to meet at the bus station in uh, Manchester, which is significantly south for me and less significantly, but still significantly south for Sam. Um, and, you know, Sammy and I, were, we were like, okay, we're going to catch the early bus and it's going to be fine. We're all going to get there. Alex decided to ignore the meetup uh, and, and continue sleeping. Relying on a bus that maybe would get him to the airport the, the, the next, within the next hour, which theoretically, in his mind, uh, would have got him uh, to, the, to the gate uh, just as the plane takes, or just as the plane's like getting ready to load. Uh, what he neglected to take into account was that uh, the the bus that he thought would get him there on time was in fact an hour after the plane takes off. <laughs> that was the second time he missed his flight to Gen Con. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know no, no, we, got, we can do better than that, Remote Air. Uh, RPD, could you throw a few cog baboons in there? Thank you. Yes, Alex has his own emote. <laughs> Quick question. Colson's Answer. suit. Black or blue? Who, sorry, who, Coulson? Yeah. Okay. I, I can tell you exactly the shade of Citadel color that I would use, but it's not going to help you very much because you don't use Citadel. Um, it's called Corvus Black, and it is a very, 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 very dark gray. Does that make... Does that... Is that an adequate answer? I have a necromancer cloak and a uniform gray. I think uniform gray might be too bright. Necromancer cloak is a very dark gray, though. Okay. But. This nifty app here. Let me put in both of those. Let's see. Oh, you have that app that's like, oh, this is this color in this system, right? Yes. Yeah, we have that at the store. After I after I was like, mm, oh yeah, that's not an app I would use. I was like, wait a minute, no, I used to use that app all the time. What am I talking about? I think we I think it was called something else, but it's possible. Uh, I haven't loaded all of my things in, but... Speaking of loading things in, I spent a fair amount of time this afternoon creating a new playlist of all things Four? Foo Fighters. Oh. Because by some... Oh. I, it's, miracle is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Somehow I didn't already have one. There, there we, there we go. There's the words I'm trying to come up with. And I realized there are a lot of B sides and unreleased stuff that I don't have. Turn off Citadel? I did. I mean, that's what they get. Well, there's a million Citadels, and I don't yeah, want to yeah, have yeah. to search through all of them. Because they keep relaunching the line every time they launch a new 40k set. <laughs> Which, there's another one coming out next year. Why 
why can't I find it in here? Oh, because I am. That's why. Corvus Black. There we are. Now, Foo Fighters Color Remote Team. Error is my second favorite band of all time. Next to, or second only to him. Um, which is why I have a hardogram tattooed on my wrist, which you can see it better on the document camera than anywhere else um but yeah Foo, Foo Fighters I, I'm going to see them in a couple weeks or 30 two days 30, 32 oh my god 32 days uh, just over a month I'm so excited uh they're playing in a venue that is way too small for the movie playing in <laughs> it sold out in less than 10 minutes <laughs> So I'm realizing oh, I didn't shit. use any inks on Sue, and I'm kind of loving that. I, I just completely forgot to use... Um... What in the what? Huh? Oh, the app is letting me find a color. I just started playing with this. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I, I can point it at something and click it, and it'll just tell me, yeah. That this is what that hashtag color is. It's called a hex value, but well done. Hex value color, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the GW it, app does something like that, but it's like, mm, eh, whatever. Regardless, I'm just gonna put this on him and paint it instead of messing around with that app. Yeah. There is. Ooh, that needs to be shaped better. Uh, that. There we go. Brass scorpion. <laughs> RPD says, I was wondering why you were trying to make, create a draw image there. <laughs> That's like weird brown. Remote error. So earlier we were talking about Metroid Prime. Yes. Um, I think my biggest thing... Oh, it's gold. Okay. Yeah, that, I guess that tracks. Um, the... Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The thing that bothers me about it the most... I am a 2D Metroid player. Like, that is... Similar to Foo Fighters, it is my number two game franchise. Uh, second only to Mega Man. And I, you know, just recently PR, had, had a PR in Super Metroid and did pretty well not a PR in um, Metroid Fusion. Um, as I sit here and play through Prime, my body just wants 2D Metroid back. That's my issue. Besides the fact that I have scars from long ago playing the original Metroid Prime that with the atrocious controls that my body rejects still. Yeah. Um, I got about as far as I did, uh, a little for a little behind me because I just got that uh, stupid visor. Yeah. And, um, which is actually pretty far in the game. Is I've it been really? following a guide. Yeah. Um. It's over halfway. Oh, dang. Wow, really? I believe so, yes. Uh, that's kind of disappointing, actually. There's only been really one interesting boss so far. That's the plant thing. Yes. 
He was an interesting boss. I agree. Like, I actually genuinely enjoyed that fight. I agree. Me too. But that's also because he spent a lot of that fight in ball form. In 3D. Uh, in third person. Third and... person, yeah. Yeah, the, the perspective is just so weird. Like, I I don't know. Maybe it's just because, like, you, you're frightfully aware that you're wearing a helmet, but it just seems so much tighter than any any FPS game I've ever played. Which, I mean, you've played Destiny with me. I, I get claustrophobic on a good day. Yes. Yes. I don't disagree. Um, I'm not the hugest Metroid. Um, I know people love it. Yeah. And I wish them the best. Yeah, exactly. I do like, and, and, and don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it. I... You know, it's 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 fun, but it's not what I want out of my Metroid. It's it's like playing Arkham Third Edition. It's a good game, not my game. Not my game. Yes. Just so, give me Metroid Six. <laughs> with that said, um, yeah, I agree. I think it's one of those that I am gonna hold off on. Um, I am glad I played it when I did. Otherwise, mm -hmm. I probably would have bought the remaster also. And then just gotten frustrated with it. Yep. Uh, I don't think I am going to buy the remaster, though, at this point. And I'm just going to hold off. And maybe in a few years, I might reconsider and willfully regret not doing it again. Maybe yeah. get back to this point. But... I need to find a pencil. I'll be right back. Because I'm going to demonstrate okay. a, a technique that I learned painting Chaos Dwarfs a long time ago. I'll be back. Ooh, with the lava. Yes. Yes. I love pencils. I this use pencils great. more than pens. People think I am weird because of that. I so I have very specific uses for both pencils and pens. Um, I mostly use pencils, but when I'm writing things in my planner, I absolutely every single time use pen. I use just pencils in general. Like... So what I'm doing here is I'm sketching a rough outline of his fire uh, template. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is dry brush black as in like soot and char in roughly the same pattern. But the edge of the fire needs to be known to me because under him is going to be less impacted than the rest and that's perfect I, I hope that's showing yeah it is showing up on camera I got a nice rough pencil sketch outline and that's going to guide where my dry brush strokes are going to be I also need to uh, yeah I need to... okay Colson's tie is black right oh absolutely every single time and yes, RPD, you and I have definitely had that conversation. What conversation? Uh, that you could literally put, replace Prime 1 with Pet Metroid Prime Pitfall and still get the story. I don't care for the story either. Like, I'm So that's the other thing. I am not a play games for the story kind of person anymore. I used to be. But... Um, I just don't have time to invest in story-based games, so I've gradually gotten away from them and gone into... Um, oh, son of a gun. I painted his suit white. Or his white shirt. Bye. Um, I've gone into multiplayer-focused games, and that's generally what I play yeah, I mean, we, you, you well, we've talked about it on the podcast, and you and I have talked about it separately, especially with Adam. Uh, 
many times. Multiplayer covers a world of hurt. Yes. Um, but it has not, like, I just don't have time to, like, invest in stories. Right. Because, yeah, exactly. Like, if I play a game, I might not come back to it for months. Yeah. And if I'm in the middle of a story, I can't remember. And it's like, well, I either have to figure out what's going on here. Or, or restart. I drop the game because I don't want to restart. Right. Yep. So that's... So my 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 situation's a little bit different. Like, I have hist historically only played story-driven games, but it has to be a story that I really care about. One that I will that I can guarantee that I will remember. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, and stream Midnight helps. Midnight Suns is probably a uh, very uh, is an antithesis to that. I was able to play through that. Although I never beat Midnight Suns, actually. I am literally at the last boss fight, but I've been playing around in the world just doing more fights. Because why not? And then I stopped playing. Which is probably for the better. Uh, but I, I think I'm going to pick it up once Storm comes out. Storm's supposed to drop here soon. -ish. Yeah. So once the Storm DLC comes out, I'll probably do that. Um, I played through the Venom DLC. I played through the Deadpool DLC. Uh, they're good. Um, Morbius is the third, and I haven't touched him because I really why would you? Care. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, sh I probably should because all of the DLC stories are interconnected, and by all I mean the two that I played. Right. Um, and I don't see why these two don't because the first two are very vampire focused Morbius is literally a vampire and Storm has been a vampire at one point so oh yes that, that was that was a heck of a storyline uh, yeah and you're fighting against literal Dracula which is kind of cool that is kind of cool Oh, speaking of literal Dracula, Renfield. How much uh, fun does that movie look? Well, I mean, it's a Nick Cage movie. Nick Cage is the greatest actor that's ever walked the earth. So. He absolutely is. Everybody knows it. Uh, I think you you were very correct with this grayish black. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And is that showing up? Yeah, it is. My way of dealing with that is basically cons consuming game and story separately, but but intertwined. Like I read the game story as I play it, making it so I don't need to need one to enjoy the other. Yeah. I could do that. Yeah. Um, so if I if I ingested the story in a different way, so if I read the story beforehand, or yeah. Listen to it or something, some other way, and then went back and played the game. Yeah, I could 100% enjoy a game more, but very difficult to do that in RPG. Yes. So, like, if Ma I played Mass Effect again, or for the first time again, it would be very difficult because there's a lot of jumping around in that game. There is, yeah, that's true. Um, I think but and that expands the issue expands because most games are going towards open world esque yes. and not fully open world but like even the new God of War game I love the God of War uh, it was a great game the first one not that I haven't played Ragnarok um, I didn't know the story um, but the mechanics drew me in to the point where I yes. played it enough to beat it um also, I didn't care about the story that much because it's just God of War. Right. But, it's running around uh, and smashing things as Kratos. If I did care about that story, I would have to... I, I would definitely lose interest and forget where I'm at because yeah. of the world. Yeah, I hate open world. I have, I have a student who's very, like... Her first Zelda experience was Breath of the Wild. 
and she has now become the biggest, like, as big a Breath of the Wild hater as, like, the podcast. Like, she just, she went back and played all the, all the good ones. And she's like, Breath of the Wild, she, she comes in one week and she's like, Mr. D, Breath of the Wild is awful and I hate it. I'm like, good. I, I think that's too, I, you know, I don't think it's a bad game. No, it's not. It's game. not a bad game. It's a bad Zelda game. Yes, that's my biggest issue. Yeah, um, it's it's Skyrim meets Fortnite with Zelda slapped over it, and that's a problem. Yeah, <laughs> including Goof Troop. Hey, Goof Troop is the best RPD. You know how much I love that game. Paul and I are trying to get the uh, we 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 have the. ROM hack for the Goof Troop sequel. Uh, we're just trying that to get another one sequel. It. It's not. It was a fan made, but like it's it's one of the best regarded ROM hacks I've been able to find so far. That's super cool. I it's, do like yeah. ROM hacks. Yeah, I do too. I've been playing Super Duper Metroid. Or I, I briefly was playing Super Super Duper Metroid, um, which was a lot of fun. I'm a little stuck, but like, whatever. The fact that my Retron can natively do ROM or like handle ROM hacks is awesome that is cool um but I mean in theory a ROM hack like any base system should be able to do a ROM hack no um it's more complicated know. than that okay because getting the ROM onto the well okay flash cart has enabled that in most cases but a retron can't read a flash cart because it's it is it's a retron is just retro arc. Okay. A retron five is. My retron three could do it. Um, okay. But that's like whatever. It's fine. Um, like why can't you install a ROM on a cartridge and play it in an SNES? You can. That's okay. That's what I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An actual actual SNES could do it. In most cases. I mean, there's some that have weird save data and stuff that fine, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but the, I mean, the, 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 the I guess the complaint that I'm that I had up until now is I couldn't capture that. Because ah. I didn't have the um, capture card, the ports, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. They don't output to HDMI. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm on the same page. Yeah. But the Retron does up, out, output to HDMI, and I found a way to play ROM hacks. Right now, if I put my super my Super Metroid cart in, it would think it was playing Super Duper Metroid. That's cool. Yeah. And that's why I, even though I do own a copy of Chrono Trigger, I, my, my Retron thinks it's playing uh, Dennis the Menace. The Retron thinks Dennis the Menace is, is Chrono Trigger. Trigger. Yeah. And it's purely because of this little guy. <laughs> An SD card? Yeah. That's where all my hack data is. That's cool. Yeah. I told you, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you knew that my wife got me Chrono Trigger for my birthday. Yes. That I was, was super cool. Yeah. That is, yeah. Really cool. What color hair is Colson's? Brown? Black? In the... Hold on. Are you going comics yeah. accurate or MCU accurate? Uh... What? Comics accurate. Okay, because he... So he is... Okay. Uh... I see both light brown. brown. And black. 
I'm seeing light mostly brown? light brown. Because I believe he's he was a character that originated in the MCU and they got brought into the comics. I believe I've never heard of him before the MCU. So that doesn't surprise. Yeah. Okay, light brown it is. I will hold off on that. Black. Just a dab of black. Nope, that is water. Black shoes, right? Yeah, definitely. Did I say I was going Coulson? I don't even remember. What's that? So did I say I was going Coulson? I don't, I don't remember. I just put Wong for years because I was in a hurry. I spent a lot more time on Wong than I thought I was gonna. Well, I spent a lot more time on the Fantastic or the um, Storm Twin or Storm Kids. I'm just starting Ram now. I'm like trying to find reference art. Yeah, yeah. why am I using big? Great question. Why are you using big? Because it's not Google. You know that's what Bing stands for, right? I did not, actually. Oh, well, in that case. Learning and growing. I think that's hilarious. Yep. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, now I can see what I'm doing. Let's find a big, 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 big. Open image new tab. Yes, okay, now I can see what Oh, perfect. Ha! Did it. Alright, for RAM, I need... 16 gigs or 32? 16 at the moment. Probably upgrading this summer. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need Corvus Black. I'm gonna need Rhinox Hide. No. Wait, is that, is that right? No, Drive. Let's Drive Bar. Alright, cool. I'm gonna need Blood Belcher. So, remember when I bought these brushes a long time ago? And I was like, these are stupid expensive brushes. Yes. But I'm not sure if they're worth it or not. I think they are a hundred percent worth it. Yeah, I um, I am going to be in the market for new brushes very soon, and I'm very strongly considering going in that general direction. Now, with the caveat is you don't need a full set. Right. You need one or two as your detail brushes. Um, the the point they hold is way better than any of my synthetic brushes. Mm -hmm. They don't have that curve that I hate that always yeah. like they all yeah. Yep, I know what you're talking about. Yep. Um and I can get super like I've always been horrible at eyes. But now I'm decent at eyes, I like to say. Yeah. Um and it's all because I actually have a point on the brush that I can Nice. That helps me. Yeah. Um, I am decent at eyes, so I'm curious what a, what a good point would do. All right, we gotta go to a small brush. Okay, RPD is is going over some things that could have happened last night but didn't. Oh, that that's concerning. I had a whole aftermath thing planned. 
if I got God of Arkham and then that wasn't how that turned out. I also offered myself as a replacement for Broody on the wheel when he left, but that got ignored due to the whole text versus talk argument with God of War. Yeah. Yep. But it also, I mean, it wasn't relevant anyway because Baboon Boy got whammied by the wheel. Oh, uh, are you guys going to pack some plugs yet? Do you know? I do not believe so. Interesting. He's greater than games has been showing up at a bunch of different things. Well, it's because Plankton of the Flat River Group acquisition. They're, oh, they're trying to figure out what... Up? What? Is that why they're showing up to things? Or? That's why they're not. Oh, they have been, though. They just went to, a, like, a whole bunch of stuff that they haven't been to before. Right, but not with citizens. Oh, yes. Yeah, they'll, they're, they'll be there, but not demoing. Um, interesting. And that's because of the Flat River Group? Uh, they're just trying to figure out what they want to demonstrate at. Ah, that's fair. Plumbing the depths, as it were. That is fair. Because cons are not money-making ventures for companies. No, it's all about... Yes. And... Oh. And... Uh, I lost my train of thought. It's okay. Um, I understand. We haven't decided if we're going yet or not. I have a hotel book, just in case. Yeah. It's tough with the kid. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Gen Con is going to be rough for me, being away from her for weeks. It's um, a tough ask. It, it's tough, um, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, Choo choo train of thought is leaving the railroad. Yeah, well, it often is. Yeah, <laughs> Fair enough, Arthur. Sorry, I'm sitting there trying to focus too. I, I'm doing this gun. Right. And I'm not using the biggest, I'm not using a small brush, and I'm trying not to get it on his hand there. Yeah. So, that's my bad too. Um, no, that, that would, I, I, my, I made a hedging noise before my train of thought had, like, even completely arrived at the station, so. Regardless. You, you assumed I had something to say when the reality was I didn't really. That's fair. Oh, I think this is... Didn't paint on the other side of that gun. It's fine. No Man, I've forgotten see. how much faster it is to paint these small minis. Oh, uh, Ram is smaller? Yeah, he's gear, gear scale. What size is that? Uh, F if I know. It's fair. Tiny? Smaller than, like, 25? Zombicide size? Oh yeah, they're definitely smaller than on the side. Oh wow. I mean, hang on. Uh, yeah, I can go. They're right above my head. Ugh. Do I have my ruler around? No. Of not. Hey, did you? We said we said uh, light brown, right? Is that sand yeah. gold? Single color I don't know. I might have printed Ram too small too. But... Yeah, 
I can't see it. Hmm, Sand Golem's more of an orange-ish. I don't know, he's about that size. Oh, hardened leather, that's what we want. For sure. I don't know how I missed that one. Good night, Remote Air. Take care. Back out here for more uh, Chrono Trigger on Monday. That's as far as I As we were just saying, everything with a child is subject to change. <laughs> My life has been all over the place lately, so it's... Yeah. That's more of a reddish brown, but I think that's okay. with a little bit of brown, it'll be fine. I'll do that a few days. I should not be using this brush. It's... That's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, do I do black highlights or no? No. I can put some black in the crevices though. Well, I would do that with pink. Like a wash? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. is perfect. Yeah. I think Adam referred to Nolan Oil as big cheat mode. Um, I don't think he's wrong. Do you have a mini? If yes, have you painted it? If yes, have you used known oil? If no, go use known oil. Well, I see, I use it differently than Adam does. He'll, well, not always, that's, that's not entirely true. Like when I'm doing the brutality minis, like it's literally, I just, I effectively dunk them in known oil when I'm done. Um, but, In general, I use it to just kind of bring back those recesses, like what you're doing, before I go over and highlight them. Um, I, in the past, I have dunked them. Um, it's not a bad option. No, it's not. Uh, it's not a, certainly not an invalid option. Just not the way I, I would choose to do it. Lately, I have been more dunk them, and then go back and absorb some of that dunking like so i can get as much as i can and then be more conscious with it because i want the entire mini to have that a little tint on it yeah um, how long has it been since we had a last had a well the brutal i finished the brutality minis rpd they're all done uh but i can tell you 
You enjoyed painting those. Oh, that was so much fun. Those um, are big ones, right? Yes. So I started the Brutality Minis two years ago on episode six. And then did a bunch of gear stuff. Uh, the final Brutality Mini was... It was the Demon King, I remember, was the last one. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Um, no, it was, yeah. Uh, it's one of those things that, like, I know there's more coming. So I'm, tr like, you, you gotta keep, I, I have to keep reminding myself, like, oh, yeah, this is a thing that I'm gonna have to do again. Are you gonna buy a Brutality expansion? If oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well... Buy is a strong word. The designer's a friend of mine, so... Ah. I will likely just get one. <laughs> In one way or another. Who designed it? What's that? Who designed it? Who designed uh, it? Stephen Frost. I don't know who that is. He... He's a cool dude, I assume. He's a very cool dude. Yeah, he's a very cool dude. He was on... He's done a bunch of stuff. Like, uh... Oh, RPD, you'll love this. He was he when he was a production intern. He was on uh, Beat Beat. He was on Starcraft Remastered. He's done a lot of stuff for Blizzard. Oh wow! Yeah, it's all connected. And he designed the game. He designed Brutality. Yeah, it's cool. He's a very nice guy. Andor. Yes. I enjoyed it. Very fun. I did not enjoy it at first, but it grew on me in the way that it seems. I, yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, I watched it while I had COVID. So I, like, just, I, it was all, like, I wasn't doing anything else. They, came, they just announced a season two. That's not yes, I did see that. I'm very, very excited about that. I have not started, or I'm not finished season three of Mandible yet. It, it's a little, it's bittersweet, RPD. Like, Brother Curtis has been a, a staple of Trapped in Arkham since the beginning. Uh, Hound of Tindalos lore.
Hey, Blink. Uh, total from last night, uh, roughly. So we raised 270 last night. Uh, there is, because of your um, sub donations and the cash that is yet to find its way into my hands, I know we're over three, three, uh, 300. I don't know exactly how much over. Yeah, it was it was tremendous. Thank you again so much. And we did win. We did beat Cthulhu. Uh, Taffy had some late game heroics. Between how good the actual last episode of Cherub's Pilgrimage is and how I seemingly finally convinced you to watch it. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, but it's on my list, RPD. I've watched bits and pieces, but not, like, sat down and actually watched it yet. But yes, I'm definitely, I'm, I, it's, it's definitely on my list, and I can't wait. My list is actually, like, it's way shorter than you think, too, by the way. Still way longer than I wish it was, but... Goals any good, but we're gonna try it. It is still good somehow. That's crazy. Uh, and then I wanted a little bit of. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I am frequently like I find that's the br those are the brushes that I buy the most often because they just get frayed so easily. This is my dry brush brush. Yep, mine look like that too. Yeah. But it did what I needed it to do with his hair. Mm-hmm. Highlighting his suit a little bit. You don't need to do too many highlights. I think it's... So I seem to have been suckered into doing eighth graded class advisement again next year. Who's this? I have. Oh, you have. Yeah. It sounded like you were reading. I was like... Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Narrator uh, voice, I guess. Yes. Um, My students have gotten really into their roller coaster project, right? And... I love that. You know, it, it's not all that common when a class gets that into it. This class not only wants the traditional four roles of graphic designer... 3D modeler, um, project manager, and safety manager. They've also asked for, to have someone be in charge of environmental impact, some, someone in charge to be, like, actually be the lawyer for the team. Um, actually, oddly enough, the same kid who was asking me, was talking to me about Breath of the Wild. Um, okay. They, like, they want they want more out of it. I'm like, all right, guys, if you're this hungry for it, let's plan a class trip to a proper roller coaster park, not just like some rinky dink one in the middle of nowhere. Let's go uh, to Hershey. Let's go to, you know, Cedar Point is where Cedar you want to go. I, I love Cedar Point. Cedar Point's my favorite, but um, closest one to you that uh, is a proper roller coaster park. Well, Hershey's about equidistant from there. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I don't consider Hershey a super roller coaster park, though. Like, it has oh, roller it's, coasters. So. It's a lot more than anything around here, I'll tell you that much. It's just 
like Cedar Point has like over a dozen. Yeah, Hershey's got nine, I think now. It's not too bad. Yeah. Like Six Flags is just so much of a money making trap at this point. Yeah. But I love Cedar Point. It is without a doubt my favorite. Yes, I agree. They're definitely number one. Number Although one they have a couple that least. need repair pretty badly. Yeah. I haven't been there in years. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. The baboon and Sammy and I occasionally go on our way to Gen Con. But we have to, like, that takes extra planning. Like, a lot of extra planning. But yeah, if you're flying to Gen Con, you have to... Well, we end up, we drive. If, if we oh. go to Cedar Point, we drive. If it weren't for the fact that... Baby. Uh, we, we were going to try and go this year. Because... I have a new car. Or, like, a new-to-me car. Oh, yeah? That isn't a stick shift. <laughs> When we, when we took the GTI out, uh, I was the only one who could drive because Alex couldn't drive stick. Nor would I let him drive my GTI. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now the GTI will stay home and cross track will make the drive. Another friend of mine just got a cross trek. It's a decent car. I'm I've not been disappointed by it. Uh, I think part of what keeps me optimistic about it though is the fact that I still have the GTI in the backyard. Yeah. I was Katie and I were out for a walk this morning and I said, you know, come June or July even when I put the GTI back on the road, like, it's going to be there for, you know, driving to the comic book store or, you know, making a quick grocery run. Pretty much everything's still going to happen in the cross track. But I just, I like having that, that freedom to choose. Mm hmm I hear you. Why I still have my car. Yeah. I can't remember. What do you drive again? Infinity. Oh, that's G37. Right. The G37. That's my favorite car of all time. I've ever had. GTI will always be my favorite. Well, uh, pre pre Mark Eight. The, the new ones are god awful. They look so stupid. Uh, the G series isn't even made anymore, and the Q series is garbage. So yeah, I'm uh, can't ever replace it. Basically, right. So once it's dead, I think I will, will be very sad. Yeah. I think the only thing that I would willingly trade, well, I call it the hamster, it's my scrappy little Hammond car. Um, the only thing I'd trade the hamster in for would be it would be a Mark One, but it'd have to be in stupid good condition. <laughs> I actually got into a conversation with um, a colleague of mine, and uh, he uh, we he was complaining about cars and new cars and how there's just too much technology in that, and yeah. it's a bad thing. It, it, and, I agree uh, completely. Like that's exactly where I was going. It it's a pain. It is. It's like the car drives itself. I driving is is. A pastime like it's it's enjoyable 
you're supposed to be able to feel the road and know how to control the car and all that. Like these cars, especially with like lane assist. Like I don't want. Oh anyone. god, I hate it so bad. Do, do not take your car, or do not take me out of control of the car and turn the wheel for me. If I was swerving into that lane, there might be a reason for that. Like, right. I could be swerving. That is one of the possibilities. But there could be an obstruction on the side of the road. And I am trying to slightly get over, but not go into the next lane. Right. Um, or what if that other car who doesn't have lane assist is swerving into my lane? Now, I might want to swerve away. Yeah. Like, there. Yeah. Frustrating. Absolutely. Um, it's, you so, know, I always tell my students, a computer or a device or whatever, what have you, is only as smart as the person using it. It can never be smarter than you are, by definition. And these cars that think they are smarter than we are is, is what's causing the problem. I've forgotten how much fun painting these locusts is because they're they're so gross and disgusting that you, you don't have to like even do a good job and it looks it looks better if you do a messy job. Yes. yes, 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 yes. I know what you mean. I've, I don't think you ever have told me that, RPD. Or if you have, I certainly don't remember it. Am I missing something? RPD said, uh, asked, have you ever, has he ever told me what his dream car is? At least the one that's not a supercar. That's, that's one thing I would never want to own. Like, I would love to drive a proper supercar, like, on a track day or something like that, and really let it go nuts. But to the, the upkeep and insurance on that just like nope. makes me break out in hives. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. Hard pass. <laughs> So it's a little complicated, like I... it would be a project car. Okay, project. I like the. I like project car. You've got my attention. Even if I made like a sh sh Shirt stupid mode. amount of money, yeah. Uh, like I would still wouldn't want to buy a supercar. Well, y you know what really gave me pause and made me think about it. The What's that? one of the best player or like not best like talent wise but like most beloved players on the Red Sox Jason Veritek he's a coach now um he was the captain for the longest time you know what he drove what did he drive a Toyota pickup truck like a like an old one cheers Mike and he said I, th that to me said even when you make a bajillion dollars like why what's the point I like you can't use it when it's raining you can't use it like in the winter certainly mm -hmm. you... so you can't even technically use it right the way it's meant to be used on the road you have to go to a special track to use it. And they deliver your car on a, 
of Lori. I can't remember the American name. I've been watching too much Top Gear. I can't remember the American name of it. Flatbed truck, I guess, right? Yeah, something like that. And then you, you, you know, they put the special fuel in that only your car can use. That costs, you know, probably as much as a regular car on its own. Yep. It's like, that, at that point, do you even own the vehicle? Like, sounds to me like Ferrari just owns it. I'm not, like, yeah, no, I would much rather just drive. A car like, that's fun, but reasonable. Yes. Uh, like, I have my car, and then the other car we drive is a Honda Civic. Love Honda Civic. Great car. Because it has over 100,000 miles, um, and it's still going. So RPD says, take a mid-90s Buick Roadmaster, surgically cure it of its gearbox that's actively sabotaging it. Yep. Add, adjust the steering and suspension, keep up, and all those little things, and keep it a Natasha-type paint vinyl job to signal how much I'm a complicated than having to talk to people. <laughs> that's so good. I love it. Right, let's get some ink on this puppy. I never actually thought about that. If you drive a ridiculous paint scheme on a car or something like that, like just completely out there, yep, Perfect. you're gonna either get people that love it and they're gonna talk to you about that, or most people will probably just ignore you. Yeah, I mean. I think the same the same more or less holds true with license plates too, right? Like it's a sticker bomb for weeds. Oh, okay, uh, gotcha. I uh, would agree if people pay attention to license plates. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Like my my license plate is a reference to the FP. Nobody gives a flying who what that means. What reninj is. But it they might at, yeah. And nobody's asked. Exactly. They might ask, but odds are they're not. They're probably not going to. And I'm okay with that. Alright, time for a bath. Rom. There we go. Um, I guess we can do the base in the same color too, the base ring. God, it's so cheating. Oh, no oil? Yep. I'm trying to make Rom like really nasty, slimy. Like just slopping the melon oil on. Just because of how he operates in the game. Oh. The video game. Yeah. He's nasty. Well, is he though? Because Alex and I first tried him. It was an absolute cakewalk. That's fair. I honestly can't remember. I thought he was harder than that. But... Scourge was really hard, but Rom was just pathetic. And I think Colson might be dumb. He was a lot faster than Rom was. Yeah. I still gotta highlight Rom, but we'll do that next week. Because, oh boy, oh boy, yes, I'm still watching. Um, oh, I because do finish long guys. Last thing I'm gonna do is glue Human Torch to its base. It's a rare glue stream. Make sure he lines up appropriately. You know what? 
I'm going to do a little bit of, I need, it's fine, brownstone. Yep, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, for sure. RPDI, I will remind you. Gonna stick with the brick. Paint on it. Why aren't you coming off? What the hell? What the hell, indeed? Well, uh -huh. That's okay. okay, I can recover. Got more of it. On the spot that I'm okay. Perfect. Nice. I'm just tweaking his face a little bit. Just gonna get his eye iris off the nose. I started in that May. I used some speed paints on her. I don't like how they look though, so I have to strip them off. Or I'm gonna paint over them actually. Let's see i was just trying to see if I can quickly go through some of your bystanders. Uh, the answer was yeah. We also got Pepper and Carter on here on the deck. Nice. Pepper has a cool uh, suitcase, an uh, Iron Man suitcase. I think I'm going to paint that in um, rescue colors, though. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Uh, so that's, I think it's a blue. Blue? I don't know. I have to look up our colors. Uh, it's blue and purple. Blue and purple? Yeah. Pretty certain. Uh, she won't, I don't think she's going to stand out like um, she's supposed to with an Iron Man briefcase, but I don't care. Oh, no. And that's all. Because it's really... As long as I'm happy. It's true. Alright. What do you think, man? Call it? I am good with calling it. Alright, me too. Alright, well, let's uh, quickly get tonight's progress back on the back on camera here. Um, there they are. There they are. 
All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in tonight uh, for watching Paint Dry. We'll be back for more of this next week. Um, hope, and we'll have Broody back with us. We got it. We got to keep. <laughs> uh, we got to. We got to keep on Adam. We got to get Adam back here at some point. But um, we're out. We're having fun. This is a good time. Um, I will be back on Monday, presumably. I don't see anything that's going to get in the way. I say that now. Uh, for more Chrono Trigger, and the same on Friday, uh, and, and then more of this. So, uh, take care of... Oh, Mike, thank you again yes. for, for everything you do for the channel, not just uh, not just guest hosting here on this show, but, uh, you know, all the production feedback and stuff that you give us. It's tremendous no and uh, greatly no appreciated. Um, RPD, thank you for being an awesome mod and keeping the chat flowing, uh, and uh, we'll talk to you all very soon. Bye. Have a good night.